prominent LGBTQ plus activist is facing charges. Kendall Stevens, who was the victim of a violent assault back in 2020, is accused of raping two children. Shayna. Well, Sheba, as you mentioned right there, Kendall Stevens has been a very prominent uh, figure here in Philadelphia, a prominent trans activist serving notably on the district attorney's uh, LGBTQ advisory board. But this recent uh, affidavit that I obtained details disturbing allegations of rape and abuse of two minors. We spoke to a family member exclusively. We're keeping her identity anonymous out of respect for the alleged victims. She's a family friend who has been around since they were born. You the aunt of two young boys opening up after what court documents allege was repeated sexual abuse by a person her nephews knew as Aunt Kendall. You had this aunt stature in their life, whereas they're going to look at you and think, I don't want to tell an adult because I don't want something bad to happen to Aunt Kendall. Prominent Philadelphia trans activist Kendall Stevens stands accused of rape and sexual assault of two young boys ages 9 and 13. Stevens is known for her vocal activism surrounding LGBTQ issues, serving on the district attorney's advisory board, and most recently made headlines back in 2020 after she survived a brutal hate crime in her Point Breeze home. But an affidavit obtained by Fox 29 details disturbing allegations of multiple sexual encounters with the young boys. The family says Stevens was a close family friend. We were able to sit them down individually is when they start, you know, breaking down and telling the truth and crying and saying everything that happened. She says when she and her mother approached Stevens. She didn't deny it to us. She, she didn't deny it. And she tried to flip the story as in my nephew tried to kiss her first. He's nine years old. No, no, he didn't. The family member speaking anonymously to Fox 29 says the emotional toll this has taken on her family has been devastating. I feel like she was grooming my nephews. My nephews has definitely endured a lot. Despite that, she says her family won't back down on their fight for justice. I don't want her to be able to use this reputation and think that that's going to be able to get her out of the situation because what she did to my nephews is unbelievable. Now, we did reach out to the law firm representing Kendall Stevens, and they did get, they did get back to me. They said uh, that they fully look forward to fighting these charges. They say she is enjoying her constitutional rights, including the presumption of innocence. Also, an important note tonight, uh, the district attorney's office is not handling this case. They passed this along, actually, to the attorney general's office. They offered no comment tonight. Kendall Stevens is expected to face a judge on December 29th. Live at CJC, Shana Ferreira, Fox 29 News. Thank